Margaret Dixon was a young woman from the small town of Musselburgh, Scotland in the early 18th century. She was married to a fisherman, and worked as a fish hawker to support her family. However, her life took a dramatic turn when her husband was impressed into the Navy, leaving her alone with two children. Feeling the weight of poverty and with little options, Margaret moved to the city of Edinburgh to stay with relatives. It was here that she met a young man, possibly the innkeeper's son, and began an affair with him. This led to her becoming pregnant and fearing for her job and reputation, she kept her pregnancy a secret. But fate had other plans. Margaret's baby was born prematurely and died within a few days. In her grief, she planned to dispose of the body in the River Tweed, but couldn't bring herself to do it and instead left the baby on the riverbank. Unfortunately, the body was discovered and traced back to Margaret, who was arrested and charged with contravening the Concealment of Pregnancy Act. The trial was swift, and Margaret was found guilty and sentenced to death by hanging. The execution took place in public at the grass market on September 2, 1724. Her body was then taken to Musselburgh for burial. However, during the journey, there were strange noises coming from within her wooden coffin. When the lid was lifted, Margaret was found to be alive and breathing. The authorities declared this a miracle and granted her a full pardon. Margaret went on to live for a further 25 years, and became somewhat of a local celebrity, earning the nickname half hang it Maggie Dixon. Some sources suggest that she may have had an affair with the rope maker who may have engineered a weaker noose to spare her life.